Have you ever been walking late at night, only to be attacked by a precarious criminal? What should you do in such a situation? Should you fight? No, of course not. You might get hurt. What you should do is turn your iPod into a taser, and we're going to show you how to do that. Using a method known as electricity via sound, we will be able to turn the iPod into a self-defense device. If you check our About box on the right, you will see that three MP3 links have been posted. These are for the settings of high, low, and medium. We'll get into that more later though. Right now, you need an old set of headphones. You're going to need to clip it at the base. Next, you need to expose the two wires, so you might have to strip the cabling on the outside to expose the copper base or metal base, whichever you have, doesn't matter. Once you have this exposed, you can plug it into the top of your iPod. And you're going to need to have these three mp3 files we've included to the right on your iPod. You can put them in a playlist for easy access. Now let's give a demonstration of how this will work in a real situation. Now this is how you should have handled that situation in the beginning. Now quickly flee the scene and get away. Call for help or call the police. If you did this, you've passed the test. Good job. So how does this work? Due to the design of the iPod, a low frequency electrical pulse is constantly going through the headphone section. By utilizing a custom waveform which we've created for you, we are able to push low frequency into a high frequency zone. Now when the electricity travels through the headphone and it has no sound output, what occurs is an electric pulse. Utilizing a different level of the waveform, we can have a low, medium, and high setting. 